updated highlight and contour video because I haven't done one of these for almost a year. It was one of the first videos I've ever done. I feel like it's definitely changed a lot since I did that one. So I thought I'd do an updated one for you. So this is actually a collaboration video with my friend on YouTube, Emily. Um, her YouTube name is Emily Fox 252 but I'll leave her down below. So she has done also a highlight and contour video, so you can sort of get tips from both of us. So check out her video as well. I will insert some footage. So that is her video. So click down below in the description bar or at the end I'll try and put like a link in as well. So first of all, let's get rid of the elephant in the room and yes, I have dyed my hair. You might not even be able to tell. Can you tell? Well, it's blue. <laughs> Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, um, Instagram is at Tashi Tinks, like everything. Um, so, yeah, I dyed my hair blue. Well, it's like sort of black to like this grey, bluey colour. Um, this is just some extensions I dyed and sort of the ends of my hair. I did film some of it because I thought if it comes out good and I really like it then I'm sure you guys are going to want to see how I did it so I have filmed it but I haven't checked the footage yet so hopefully it'll be okay and I'll get it up for you sort of sometime next week if you want to see how I did it um let me know what you think of it it's kind of growing on me no that's a lie I liked it as soon as I did it because I knew that I wanted to do it um it's just different isn't it I was just bored of having just like the same hair as everyone else so I was like what colour can I go because my hair is obviously dark I was like I can't do anything too crazy, like purple or I don't know. Um, but I thought because my ends have always been ombre and light, I thought I could work with something like that. And I, as I said in a couple of videos ago, that I wanted to do my hair blue black. And what do you think? And a lot of you commented saying, yes, definitely do it blue black. So I feel like it's kind of washed out a bit already because I only used a semi permanent blue black for this time. But I think maybe tonight I'm going to go for the go for it and do the permanent blue black so it might look a tiny bit different anyway this is not about my hair this is about highland contour so as of right now all i've got on my face is my foundation which i used my l'oreal true match in w7 because my skin's like a little bit darker at the moment obviously because i went skiing so it's just like a little bit brown and um, so i used that all over that's all i've got on my face and then obviously I've done my eye makeup and eyebrows because otherwise I thought it's going to be a really long video. So I'm just going to show you the highlight and contour. And I am going to do it like um, the full on highlight and contour, like a night out look. So I guess let's just get started. I'm going to just zoom you in a bit so you can just see a bit clearer what I'm doing. Okay, so I've just zoomed you in a bit and just popped the top of my hair up just so it's like not in the way. But first of all, I do a cream highlight and contour. So you want to choose a concealer lighter than your skin tone and lighter than your foundation. I have a few favourites, which I've picked out sort of my current favourites for you, which are, well, I have one high end. Wow, I've only got one high end, which is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard, which if you watch my channel, you've seen me use this loads. And then also, I've also got, which I've been using loads recently, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in number 10. And I also love the, this is the Maybelline Age Rewind. No, I always called it that, but it's not. It's the Maybelline Anti-Age, the eye eraser, the one with like the sponge top, and that is in light. And also the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Creamy Beige, which I think I'm going to use today. So I'm going to use that. And then for the cream contour, I only have two of these. I would like some more. I've got one high-end and one drugstore. My high-end is a NARS concealer, which looks like this. So it's just like in a dark shade. This is in dark. And I've also got the Maybelline Fit Me ones, the same as the light one, but in a darker shade. This is number 30. So I am going to use, first of all, the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And what you want to do with your concealer is highlight under your eyes, bridge of your nose, chin and forehead in like a triangle. You can see like, maybe I should do half. Should I do half my face? Yeah, I'm gonna do half my face. So I'll do this half. Can I do that? Mm. Yeah, I can kind of. I'll still do my nose and my forehead. So I'll show you this half first, and then you'll be able to see the difference. 
So I'm going to use the drugstore one of the contour. So you want to just pop that in your cheekbones, so just here. These ones are actually really good that come like a, a wand or a stick. So it makes it a lot easier to do rather than having to use a brush. So just like that. Underneath there and a little bit up here. For the cream contour, I don't take the nodes all the way down. I don't know why, it just doesn't work for me quite right. So I just do it that bit and then I do the rest with powder. So first of all, I tap out sort of the majority of this concealer under my eye. So you just want to use your ring finger to do that. Probably gonna have to redo all of my under eye makeup. And then to blend out the darker shade, the contour shade, I use my Sigma 3D Kabuki. Just because it's got like flat edges, I just feel like it does a really good job. This is going to look super scary and weird at first. Okay, so once you put it like that and it's like kind of softened but obviously not blended at all, that's fine. I go in with the brush I use for my foundation, so this is the Real Techniques buffing brush. And I just kind of push over it. Because you don't want to get rid of it completely, you just want to like blend it a bit more. So can you see how that's just softened it? Yeah? For the nose, just use your finger. And you just want to kind of connect that to like the start of your eyebrow kind of thing. It just looks a bit more natural if you do that. And it kind of blends into the eyeshadow as well. And then again, just use the buffing brush just to blend that a little bit more. With that, with this, I'm kind of doing more like patting motions rather than rubbing. So you wanna rub this all around because was, there was no point putting it where you put it. So just kind of push it. That way it'll just blend the edges but won't actually move the product too much. Once you've got that, that is the cream part done. So that was quick and that was easy. Then for to set all of that, first of all, I set my under eye. And for that, at the moment, I've been using my Bare Minerals powder in Well Rested. But I also do obviously love the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and the banana shade. But I'm going to use the Bare Minerals today. And what I've been doing, which has been just like life changing for me, is so I've got the product in here. I just tap a little bit out in the lid. And then I use a Real Techniques setting brush, it's just like this small one. I spray it with Fix Plus first. So this is just MAC Fix Plus. So any setting spray will be fine. So I just spray the brush. And then I apply it. I just feel like this gives you just like really long lasting and it doesn't crease as much. So we're just applying this right over where we just went for the highlight. So you can see how brightening that is, like it's just insane. And then I also put some of this on my chin. Okay, and then to set the contour powder, I have loads of products that I like for this, like mm, quite a few. So the one I use most is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, which I use the, I'm gonna use this today, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna use this today. So I'll 
I use all the contour shades, but I'll show you how I do that in a minute. I also love by NYX, this is the blush in taupe. So you can see it's this really cool shade and it works perfect for contouring under your cheekbones. I actually use this in my drugstore makeup look. So if you want to see how I use that, then go check that one out. Um, other ones I like are the MAC powder in Sculpt, which again, you can see it's very cool toned. And I also do like the e.l.f. kits that you get like this, which have the bronzer and the blush in them. But this is obviously quite warm, so I don't use this to actually like really define the cheekbones. But it's great just as like a really good bronzer contour. So those are some of the ones I use. But today, as I said, I'm going to stick with my Anastasia kit. And to contour at the moment, my favourite brush, which is like amazing to me, is the Real Techniques Bold Metals Contour Brush. So it's fairly new, I haven't had it for that long, but I absolutely love it. And what I do is I take, first of all, a mixture of these two shades. So they're both the kind of cooler shades, this one's just slightly darker. And I just put them on the brush, tap off the excess. And then you literally want to position this, obviously, where your cheekbone is, right over where you just went. And you're kind of pushing it up to like create that look like your cheekbones high not obviously don't push it up too high but push it up still looks scary I know don't worry and I also put this under my jawline With contouring your jawline, it really depends on what sort of jaw you have. I don't really have a jaw, so I put mine right underneath. Because if I go too far onto my actual jawline, then it makes your chin obviously look smaller. If you've got a big chin, then go onto your jawline. I go right underneath. And I also take a tiny bit on this bit here. So I just bring it down. So it just sharpens up that edge. And then I take a fluffy brush, this is a Real Techniques blushing blush brush, and I take the warm brown shade, and I kind of put that over, but more softer, just to blend it out, and really bronze up your face and kind of join the two together. And then I get the same setting brush for the next one and the banana shade. So this one here. And I just put this underneath here. And then I apply my highlight, which my current favourite is Becca by Opal. Becca by Opal. Opal by Becca. And I just take that on a fan brush. Put that on the highest point of your cheekbone. And then for blush, I'm just going to take this one by Sigma, which is called Heavenly. And I just put that on the apples of my cheeks and blend it up. Last thing I do is I set that. And also by setting it, you kind of get rid of that really powderiness. So it just makes it look a lot more natural. I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus just because here, but I have so many that I use to be honest I love setting sprays so I just spritz some of that on okay and then can you see the difference so this one is obviously highlighting contours Okay, let's do that side. <laughs> okay, so that's better. Both sides are done. And now I'm just gonna quickly show you how I finish off my nose contour. So I use a MAC 217. So it's actually an eyeshadow brush, but it's like quite small. I don't do this every day, like at all. Like I hardly do it ever actually, but 
if I was going to do it, this is what I do. So I take this and I take the light cool shade to this one here. And you want to have a really light hand with this because you don't want to get straps down your nose. Um, if you want to do a whole video on how to contour your nose, then maybe give it a thumbs up or comment down below because it's quite difficult to show you how to contour your nose because obviously it depends what nose shape you have. Like, I can show you how to contour my nose, but everyone has different noses. So you might want to do different things, but this is what I do. So I take that and I just run it over where we've just gone. So just down here. So basically with this bit, you want to take it obviously slightly thinner than your natural bridge, because that's the idea, you're trying to make it slimmer. Take your time and just go really slow. Connect it to your eyebrow. And I kind of bring it right down to this bit here. And then when I get to the end, I kind of just like go down. I don't even know how to explain it. I just get this little corner because my, my tip is quite large. <laughs> nice. And then I just kind of shade it around underneath. So I keep closing one eye because I'm so blind. Like it just helps me see. Um, because my nose kind of drops a bit at the bottom. So just by cutting it across a bit, you're just going to raise that slightly. Okay, so that is how I highlight and contour currently. As I said, it is a lot of makeup and I definitely don't do this every day or every night at all. This is more just like, either if I know I'm going to be out for like a long time, so it's going to last like a lot longer, or if obviously I've got like a really big night out. I'm just going to zoom you out a bit, you're really close. So I hope this helps with any tips you needed with highlighting and contouring. Any questions, leave them down below. And don't forget to also check out Emily's video on how she highlights and contours as well. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.